Hi, this is Kristen Reed from Graphic Arts Magazine, and I'm here at the Print09 Show in Chicago with Deborah Hutchison of Agva Graphics. Deborah, what do you think your company is best known for in the industry? If I look at Agfa, and it's been in the industry a very long time, and we've evolved and we've grown, I'd say what we're best known for in the industry is our technology and our innovation. We bring a lot of new technologies to the market. Most recently, our Thermofuse technology, which is our chemistry-free plate, digital plate technology, um, with the products like Azora and most recently Azora TS. And what products have you brought with you this year to Printo9? We have a large booth at Printer 9, so we have a big assortment, and we focused on four key areas, automation, integration, diversification, and sustainability. Um, in the area of sustainability, we've introduced our new Azora TS, which is the latest generation of our chem-free technology, and that's about 50% faster than its previous version. Um, we also have our workflow solutions, which is the Apogee Suite 6.0. Um, we've got a digital print link, which we're highlighting in our integration stadium, which connects Apogee to Canon Image Press or HP Indigo. We're showing integrations with MIS vendors. We're showing integrations with our web to print partners. And then we have a whole assortment of inkjet solutions focused, once again, on, on diversification. We have on the Annapurna line, which is our wide format line, we've introduced the Annapurna MW. So it's a six color machine plus white. It's a pre-white and a post-white. We have our industrial um, inkjet solutions, which is the M-Press. Um, some significant advancements on the M-Press Tiger, which is the new version. Once again, it's providing additional speed enhancements and quality enhancements. And then finally, the first time in North America is the Dotrix Modular, which is our web-based UV uh, digital press. How are you different from other vendors, and what is your unique selling point? If I think about Agfa and how we separate ourselves from our competition, I'd say one of the, the unique selling points for Agfa is that we focus on being a single point of contact. And how do your products and services help your customers build their business and improve their performance? I think uh, what, what we focused on, as I mentioned, you look at, at printers today, they're looking for ways to improve their productivity, to reduce their costs, become more efficient, and then at the same time, look for replacement revenue. We know the market has shifted. We know that people are looking for ways to replace the revenue that they've lost, that they want to enter into new business streams, new, new revenue streams. So that's really where we've focused with our customers is in areas of adding levels of automation, integration into either legacy products or future products. So they know when they make a purchase with Agfa like Apogee, they're buying an open solution that not only ties in with any JDF products they have today, but, it, but products that they're going to buy in the future. So what's Agfa doing to help printers become print service providers? What we do is we sit with our customers and help them analyze their business. Where are they, where are they today? What are their strengths? Where do they want to go tomorrow? And then help them build the roadmap that will help take them there. And we really work as it, with our customers as partners. It also provides us with feedback that's critical to, to um, new product development, product enhancements, feature requests. What's your company doing to become more environmentally friendly? We focused on our sustainability message and um, our environment, environmental message, both in the areas of product development and in our processes. What's the main factor that you think is leading your company to surviving through these tough economic times? Well, it's been tough for everybody. But I think what has helped ACFA is we made those decisions up front really before the recession hit. We, um, we made those tough choices, those sacrifices, and um, restructured our organization to be a very lean organization, but to have the core competencies to meet the demands of our customers. So we really started this process earlier, and that's helped us get through this, these tough times. So what does the Print09 show mean for Agfa Graphics? When you think about it, um, a, if, you do, if you work a trade show well, it's probably one of your most cost-effective ways of talking to a large variety of customers. And if we would think about when, when somebody tells you something, you remember about 10% of what you've heard. You maybe remember 20% of what you read. But you remember 90% of what you experience. So when they, a customer walks onto the Agfa booth, we want them to have an Agfa experience.
it also gives us the opportunity to showcase new products that we may not have been able to bring into a customer's shop, like the Dotrix modular, like the M-Press. So it's a great opportunity to sit with your customers to showcase products and technologies that we're bringing to market, but also to understand where they want to go into the future. And what's your company looking ahead towards in the coming year? Con continued divest in investments, continued investments in R&D and in technology. We're continuing to expand our product portfolio in the area of inkjet. That's a that's a real focus for Agfa. We'll continue to grow in that market. Um, we are continuing to develop our plate technology as well as our software and CTP solutions. Okay. Well, thanks very much for your time, Deborah. This is Kristen Reed from Graphic Arts Magazine.